Hong Kong, the world capital of feng shui. Feng shui is the ancient Chinese science of living in harmony with the environment. In Hong Kong, a necessary pastime with so many people living in such a small space. Here in Hong Kong, the ancient knowledge survived the cultural revolution that swept over mainland China during the 60s and 70s. This film looks at the traditional roots of feng shui, with masters of traditional feng shui demonstrating how the ancient Chinese science is still deeply rooted in the everyday lives of people living here. To them, feng shui is much more than simply a new trend in interior design. Central Hong Kong. Up on the 43rd floor, Max Chan lives in his comfortable apartment where he experienced his own personal feng shui miracle. In Chinese tradition, we know feng shui a little bit anyway, but I really take it seriously after I lost my job. On the advice of a feng shui consultant, Max changed some of the interior design of his 3.6 million Hong Kong dollar apartment. I want to show you something. Yeah, here are two pictures originally hang at my sitting room. One is the original Chinese bed cover, very pink, and with 100 children running all around here. Uh, the original use of this bed cover is to, uh, for the husband and wife to sleep beneath this cover and have children. But I like this one, so I framed it and hang on the wall. But it's not good for feng shui. It's beautiful, it's lovely, but it's not good for feng shui. So I changed that to smaller pictures with water and uh, vegetation. Uh, because the apartment is not a big one, but uh, if I hang big things on the wall, it makes you tense and gives you pressure. And the other way is the color. The color, you do, in the past, this one is red. I can show you. You better like take a look. It's, uh, this one is red. All my sofas are red. I like red, you know. You make it uh, energetic and you make you always want to challenge and things like that. But if you put too much red in the house, you, the, the, the one living there will get tense, will that easily get angry, so I call with my boss, <laughs> and easily get stressed. Too much red is not good. So uh, he advised me to change yellow, the earth-like type, the earth-like yellow one. And once I change it, things really change. And my personality changes also. I got more relaxed. My, my wife feels more uh, down to earth here. He, he's, she's also more relaxed here when she was with me. And I'm getting not that push. In the past, I always drive everyone crazy. But now I, I become more normal, I think. And I feel better, and people feel better. And the other way he teach me is, my house, my apartment is too, too quiet, too quiet because no living things around, and it's is bad for for me also. So I have plants. You can see the plants and have fish over there, and to make the house more lively, lively house brings more opportunities, and that proves to be right because I've after all the changes, I don't know if it's coincidence or anything. I've got four job offers. Feng means wind, the movement of the air, the energy of the sky. It also describes an intangible force that cannot be seen, but can only be experienced. Shui means water, and in a related sense it describes the physical environment, such as landscapes and mountains, and in modern cities, the streets and buildings. It describes the tangible world. Staying healthy and getting rich, for the Chinese, the achievement of these personal goals is conditioned by two factors, destiny and personal luck, but it is also dependent upon feng shui.